I mean, it looks like a goblin. It looks like a monster. That's how it got its name. It has the ability to distend its jaw way out in front of its body and then snap it back to catch food. No doubt about it, Earth is pretty amazing. But if you're one of the lucky few who've seen it from space, you know it's even more mind-blowing. Still, for all its beauty and grandeur, Earth is also kind of weird. So, here are some of the strangest things about this gas-wrapped water and rock ball we call home. The planet's poles flip. We all know that the north is up near Alaska and the south is down around Antarctica. That's always true for Earth's geographic poles, but not so much for the magnetic poles. Over the past 20 million years, Earth's magnetic poles have swapped places every few hundred thousand years. So, if you had a compass 800,000 years ago, it would have pointed to Antarctica as north. Scientists think Earth's swirling molten iron core is behind these magnetic pole flips, but they're still not sure what sets off the actual switch. This process takes thousands of years. Right now, the North Magnetic Pole is drifting northward by about 40 miles each year. Considering the last big flip was 780,000 years ago, we're actually overdue for another one. Our planet hosts a humongous fungus. When thinking about the biggest living things on Earth, blue whales, elephants, and giant trees probably come to mind. You might even think of coral reefs as the largest collections of creatures. However, the largest single organism reported is actually an armillaria mushroom in Oregon. Back in 1992, a fungus of this type was found in Michigan, covering 37 acres. But more recently, scientists discovered an even more massive fungus in Oregon, spanning at least 2,000 acres and estimated to be thousands of years old. While the mushrooms pop out of the ground, they're all connected by an extensive underground network called mycelia. Although not all parts of the fungus might be perfect clones, this gigantic fungus still takes the prize for size, and apparently it's pretty tasty with spaghetti. Vantablack. Vantablack is a nanomaterial that's darker than anything else on Earth. Developed by Surrey Nanosystems in the UK in 2015, Vantablack absorbs 99.98% of light, so when you look at it, your eyes technically see nothing. It's like staring into a black hole, the most remote place on Earth. Point Nemo holds the title for being the farthest point from land on our planet, also known as the Oceanic Point of Inaccessibility. It sits right in the middle of a triangle formed by Ducey Island, Motu Nui, part of the Easter Island chain, and Maha Island near Antarctica. It's so remote that the closest humans to Point Nemo are typically astronauts aboard the International Space Station, orbiting Earth from about 258 miles away. The nearest inhabited spot to Point Nemo is over 1,670 miles away. Living fossils. Goblin sharks are like something straight out of a nightmare. They're considered living fossils. These rare deep-sea sharks are the last known members of the ancient Mitsukurinidae family. What sets goblin sharks apart is their long, protruding jaws filled with teeth that look like nails. They can sense electrical currents from other animals and snap their jaws out quickly to grab their prey. To truly understand how terrifying this is, you have to see a goblin shark in action. Fun fact. These creepy creatures inspired the Neomorph in Alien Covenant. Earth is radioactive. Believe it or not, Earth generates around 40 terawatts of heat, and half of that comes from radioactive decay in its core, according to a 2011 study. Scientists measured particles called antineutrinos rising from Earth's core and discovered that radioactive decay is responsible for about half of Earth's heat. Most of the internal heat that keeps our planet lively and dynamic comes from the radioactive breakdown of elements like thorium, uranium, and potassium. The biggest mammal migration is airborne. You might think the 1.3 million wildebeest trekking between Kenya and Tanzania hold the record, but think again. Every year, millions of giant fruit bats take to the skies, flying between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Zambia's Kasanka National Park. With over 10 million of these cat-sized, mango-loving, echolocating bats on the move, 
it's the largest mammal migration known on Earth, a river that's practically boiling. What was once considered a myth, a nearly boiling river tucked away in the Peruvian Amazon, is real. While it's not technically boiling, the river's temperature gets close enough to make the surrounding rainforest look like a steamy, mystical paradise. It's even hot enough to cook small animals that fall in. National Geographic explorer Andres Ruzo recently visited this boiling river and discovered the cause. Intense geothermal activity that has nothing to do with volcanoes or oil drilling. Some places look totally alien. Ethiopia's Danakil depression is like another planet. It's one of the hottest, driest, lowest, and weirdest places on Earth. With its boiling hot springs, toxic gases, bubbling lava lakes, and salty mirages, it seems completely inhospitable. Yet, life has managed to thrive here. Viruses outnumber stars in the universe. Now, did you know Earth is absolutely packed with viruses? There are around 10 non-Ilian individual viruses on our planet. That's so many, you could assign one to every star in the universe a hundred million times over. Volcano in Indonesia. Spits out bright blue lava, kind of. Indonesia's Kawa Ijen volcano is famous for its tendency to spew out flowing streams of what seems to be blue and purple lava. Actually, the lava isn't naturally blue. According to Smithsonian Magazine, the captivating color comes from large amounts of sulfuric gas that come out alongside the lava. When this gas catches fire, it burns with such intensity that the lava looks electric blue. An island with an undersea waterfall. Off the southwest coast of Mauritius, it looks like there's a massive undersea waterfall. But don't worry, it's just an optical illusion. Ocean currents swirl around, carrying silt and sand to create a dramatic effect. The seafloor is actually quite flat. This spectacular sight is best viewed from above and can even be spotted on Google Earth. Bismuth, the element with a trippy surface. You might recall learning about bismuth in chemistry class, but did you know it has a wild, psychedelic appearance? Bismuth has this cool stair-step growth pattern where the outer edges grow faster than the inner areas. This creates a crystalline structure that looks like it's made of colorful interlocking rainbow squares. Underwater lakes, hidden gems of the ocean. Ever heard of underwater lakes also known as brine pools? These are pockets of water within the ocean that have much higher salinity than the surrounding seawater. Because this briny water is denser, it forms lakes that seem separate from the rest of the sea. These underwater lakes even have their own waves that lap against their shorelines. Submarines can float on these brine pools when they descend to the ocean floor. But here's the catch. These lakes contain high levels of toxic methane and hydrogen sulfide, making them deadly for humans to swim in. That's a wrap for today's video, folks. What intrigued you the most about our planet? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts.